Ooh, I like that one. Ooh, why would you want him? Yuck. <laughs>Yo, what's up guys, Prince Charming. We're gonna be checking out Movie Unleashers, the not so good dinosaur on today's video. I'm thinking this is a book because it sounds so familiar. The good dinosaur, I'm guessing that's the original name and it's a book because it sounds so familiar. I felt like I read this in elementary school. I'll look it up later, but this is gonna be a movie parody and I read the description. It says it's gonna be more controversial than Outside In 2. Outside In 2, made by the same people. Oh my gosh, that was a very creative work of art i gotta say i did enjoy it i thought it was new it was different it kept my attention so it was a very good video so i'm gonna expect this that of this too don't forget to hit me with a like subscribe and go ahead and comment how do you think the dinosaurs became extinct <laughs> i think they became extinct by you know the the comment i don't think people like aliens came and like vaporized them or this or that or i don't know i just think a comment or maybe there was never dinosaurs but then we have fossils and then i, I don't know <laughs> but enough of me talking let's go ahead and check out the not so good dinosaur by movie unleashers hope you guys enjoy the video this is a parody i'm not associated with pixar the following video is recommended for mature oh this is gonna be good i am ready for some good controversial parodies the not so good dinosaur that was the book cover that is a book I read in elementary school. I don't remember it. <laughs> Pretty sure it was just a dinosaur that was good. <laughs> What's wrong? Hello? Does anybody want to be my friend? Are you lost? I'm really lonely. Oh, I'm poor dinosaur. Hey, what's that? The Human Protection Agency. You're not a human, though. They're not going to protect... Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, what are you here today? Oh, I'm looking to adopt a human. So this is like right this way. Flip flopped. Oh, so oh, I just love humans. They're such beautiful creatures. Mhm. Mm I actually found out that these humans are rather intelligent beings. They How? make up their own languages, and they could even be toilet trained. How are we pets but then? All of them just seem to act like dogs. Okay. Yeah. That's weird, isn't it? Men. I'm trying to get these humans a proper home. That Fred Flintstone? Be safe from the outside world. We've got a couple Homo erectus, a couple Neanderthals, Cro oh. Magnums. They got all the humans. Man, they really selling humans on deck. Like it's human co. You get it? Petco, human co. <laughs> but can you imagine a parallel universe where like say uh okay, we watched a movie on this. Rise of the Apes, where the humans became the animals and then the apes became the primary dominant uh, creature on the planet. We call it the apex predator. I think that's what it's called. I mean, he said it right. We are dogs. <laughs> I think it's mainly talking about men about that, but we, a lot of the times we do act on our impulses like dogs do. Like see, say if a dog sees a car or like another dog, he's gonna chase it. And if we see a girl with a big booty, <laughs> we gonna chase it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if it'll ever be possible. Like some animal, like, uh, mutates and evolves into some greater species but <laughs> i think we humans got this in the bag bro we're gonna be running this planet until we destroy it <laughs> Ooh, i like that one oh why would you want him nice yuck <laughs> we found him wandering across the property just a couple days ago hi there little guy Ooh, he's scared of you He'll get used to it. Why his tongue out like that, though? <laughs> I want him. He's absolutely perfect. Well, we don't give humans away just like that. What do you mean? I'll need you to file out some paperwork. Okay, so... I don't get it. He's adopting a human. We need to make sure that we're giving it to the right dino. Okay, like... Someone who could be the best caretaker for him. Like, if you There's adopt a dog where dinos from a pound. A human just to eat it out in the parking lot. Oh, gosh. Yes, yes, I understand. <laughs> I, I'm a vegetarian, though. Mm, yeah, that's what they all say. No, no, look how dull my teeth are. I'm literally the least threatening dinosaur ever. Mmm, you got me there. He's 150. No dinosaur is safe. Free You're talking about a safe dinosaur. <laughs> you got teeth, don't you? You bite still. <laughs> Aww. Why is he... <gasps> they neutered him. Oh, no. 
Oh my goodness. That is a very heartbreaking. Because you think about it in their terms. Like, we neuter our dogs. We don't think much of it. Shit, they probably don't think much of it either. They probably don't even know what it is. They just think it's, you know, a set of balls. <laughs> But they neutered him, which means they cut it off, which means I don't know what it means in a human. Are you still a man after that? Like, can you still grow hair? Do you still have to testosterone? Why did they cut him off, bro? It's not like he's going to go and mate with another human. No, he will, because <laughs> us humans, when we're not already pets, we're already running around town sleeping with God knows who. So maybe it's good that we are neutered <laughs> so we can, you know, put our sexual urges to rest. <laughs> Is he getting high? <laughs> okay, this... It seems like the dinosaur is a good owner, though. He, he's treating his human good. Alright, where are they now? He's a happy pet now. Welcome Look at him. to our new home, Spot. Ooh. It ain't much, but it's still nice and cozy. It's literally nothing. It's a good deal right now. It's like 500 a month. Where's your furniture? <laughs> new life is going to be absolutely swell. Don't you agree, Spot? I'm waiting for this to switch up. Ew! Yeah, take take him outside. You're fucking kidding me. <laughs> Did you pee on the floor? He's going to beat you. The landlord's going to kick us out now. <laughs> Don't pee on the floor, Spot! You're supposed to rub his face into it. That's how you train a dog. <laughs> mm-hmm. Don't on the floor. That's how you train a dog. Not, no, not in the house. No. Damn. Oh my gosh. Do you know your own strength? Little buddy. Oh. <laughs> He's blue now, not oh spot. God. <laughs> oh fucking hell. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Okay, that is very... Oh, gosh. This man does not know his own strength. So he was trying to, you know, put his face into it because when you're training a dog, that's what you're supposed to do. I know it may seem aggressive. I know it may seem mean. But if you don't have some sort of, like, negative um, punishment or feedback, reinforcement, they're going to keep doing it. They're not going to know it's wrong. They're not going to know they did something bad. So you got to either spank them or put their face into it. He, however, was pressing on this man way too hard. You're a dinosaur. You're a dinosaur. I said it in the beginning. There is no safe dinosaur. You got teeth, don't you? You're big, aren't you? <laughs> Poor Spot. He had no idea what he was getting himself into. This morning he woke up and he was just, you know, chilling in the pound. Next thing he knows, he's literally a puddle of sploosh under a dinosaur's foot. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Aww. Ew, you have to flush him? You're not gonna bury him? Ew! What's wrong with you? You don't flush your dog. <laughs> Who's at the door? Yes. Oh. Hey, pal. How are you doing? He's taking up on the human. I'm alright. <gasps> How are you? I'm fine. Mind if I come in? No. No, he, not at all. He came at the worst time possible. Oh, well, gosh. I need to give you some more information regarding Spot. Uh, yeah, where is he anyway? Um, uh, You're going to have to get rid of the evidence. Uh, you have to kill him, bro. <laughs> he knows too much. I don't have a strange urge to go to the bathroom. You see? I'll he knows back. He knows way too no, much. No, I need to do that. No, no, I really need to go. You got labels no, in your no, bathroom? No. <laughs> Who you live with? <laughs> yep, and there's the evidence. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. At this point, bro, you're already caught. You're going to go to jail. You got to take him out. You just got to get rid of all witnesses. I hate to be the one to say it, but nobody can can know what you have done. The secret has to go with you. It has, it has to be taken with you to your grave. And he is probably going to report you to the police because, you know, if you hurt a dog in our world, you can go to jail for that. Well, you know, if a black, if an officer she's a black man, he ain't going to jail. Okay, but well, okay. <laughs> You're sick. This was a living being. Exactly. How you do this? You just flushed him. No, no, it was an accident. He was... I don't want to kill him at all. Aww. How dare you? 
You've got to be the most irresponsible dinosaur I have ever laid eyes on. Oh. Okay, man. <laughs> big adventure. And it was just, I'm gonna sue you for every penny you got. No, don't do it. I didn't mean to. You gotta get rid of him. It was an accident. You gotta get rid of him. Fine, then I'll just phone the police. Get rid no, of him. You want it? I'm gonna need the police, a plumber, and an ambulance here. Get rid of him. <laughs> do it. Be angry. Do it. God, just Total creep. He flushed a human child in the toilet. Get angry. Ah! Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. I know you're lying. <laughs> you're not a vegan. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to do this. Lie to me. Ugh, this I man. I don't want to be a cannibal. <laughs> Did he? Oh, you see, he's in a straight jacket. That's not the good. So that's not the good dinosaur anymore. He has changed. They put him in Jurassic World. <laughs> that was it for this video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. That was the not so good dinosaur. That was a very good animation, and he. He adopted a human and he proceeded to crush that human beneath his feet. He didn't mean to. I know he didn't mean to, but bro, you gotta know your own strength. And then when you took a big bite out of that dude's neck, you meant to do that. You you meant to do that. So you deserve to be in that straight jacket or you deserve to be in prison. I swear, bro, people can just get away with murder, bro. Just say they crazy and they have to go to a mental hospital and then they can leave like after a couple years. It just seems like an easy get out of jail free car like. <laughs> What's Monopoly when you have the mental um <laughs> Insanity excuse. <laughs> Don't forget to hit me with a like, subscribe, and comment on this video if you want to reply from yours truly, Prince Charming. My name is Prince of Hawkins. Stay charming, my friends.